to a new channel where we are today checking out the new creature in creatures and area. It is called the Arnie. Very fun name actually, considering what the last one was, the last dev creature, which was the Ura, and now we have the Arnie. <laughs> kind of funny. So the Arnie has some great stats that we're going to take a look at, some special info here, everything in just a hot little second. But first, thank you for tuning in, and now let's get straight into the video and begin with the stats being max health 400 stamina 200 speed 25 healing healing yes it does healing 100 appetite 45 and bleed zero now you're probably wondering healing what's healing we haven't seen that in the stats list before well i'll get into that in a moment because it has a cool thing going for it okay mutation five out of five info Two, uh, night vision is 2 out of 3, it's a tier 1 creature, and it's a herbivore. So, it walks on two legs, like you would know any other regular creature to do. Well, some, like the Jeff. This one does a walking on two legs. Now, you probably wonder, this healing ability, what does it do? Well, when you attack, when you, for instance, when you attack your own nest, you can heal it by 100 health per hit. Meaning you can literally smack the nest so much that it gets a real big amount of health. Uh, I'm not going to show it because no point. I just explained it. So that should be enough. <laughs> but yeah, basically every time you hit with your regular left click, you heal your nest. Also, this beam, laser beam, which is your fire or your breath, also heals, apparently. Uh, heals uh, either yourself or your well, your nest and stuff like that. So it does do that. It also does a minus 0 0.5 damage per second. So this beam is really cool. If you take a look at that real quick, I like it. Um, you start off with one of these circular balls. And then when you go to add all, you get two. And then final stage, I believe, you get... Th oh, wait. No, it's juvenile or teenager. I don't know what they're calling it here. I, I keep forgetting. But the one before adult and then... When you get to adult, that's when you get three. So you go one, then two, and then three. Really, really cool. I like that concept. It's a really nice idea. Also, when I saw this creature, it made me think of furry. I don't know why. I just thought it looks like a furry. It must be a furry. So it's a furry. Officially stamped by me. Boom. Oh, no, I'm joking. But uh, yeah, this creature is really cool. We haven't even listened to its calls yet. Let's go ahead and do just that. Beginning with number one, of course. Okay, that is interesting because I did not expect this this cool looking thing to say to do something like that. Let's go ahead and do number two. Okay, that was actually really quick. Number three. Why does that sound like a chainsaw? <laughs> I don't know why. Let's go ahead and hit number four. That sounds like a frog. Let's do that again. Yeah, it kind of sounds like a frog. I don't know why, it's just fun. But uh, yes, that is indeed, indeed, the sounds. Now we're gonna go ahead and take a look at some other animations, such as the cower and the aggro. So let's go ahead and just press our cower button right here. And as you can see, he hides his eyes, he ha hands uh, on his eyes like that. And then aggro is like, do you wanna mess with me kind of thing? Really cool, I like this animation. And uh, that is everything in terms of animations, unless I forgot anything. Let me just check here. Um, no, that is indeed everything. Oh, well, I did forget sit and lay, so let's go ahead and do that. Looks the same to me. And let's go ahead and sit. And yeah, this one I think is unique, actually. So the sitting animation is unique. I think the laying one is the same as the rest, though. But this looks really good. I do like it. Let's actually go ahead and sit on an area without grass, just for a better like view of what it looks like. And yeah, I think this is really good. It's a really job well done here. So now comes the big part of the video where we decide to talk about what this creature is, whether this creature is good. Like, should you spend Robux on this creature? Is what I'm trying to say, well, I don't know why I'm struggling to say that, but hey, that's what we're gonna do. So, 
is this creature worth 100 Robux? Because that's how much it was, at least when I got it, unless it's gone up or down. <laughs> so, yeah, in a small, in a way, it is worth 100 Robux. I'd say it is good. It's not too bad. I thought it was going to be more, but it turns out it was a lot less than I expected it to be. And that's actually really good. So, uh, is the 100 Robux price tag worth it? I'd say it is, considering that it heals and stuff like that, which makes it just that much better. It's good. Though, however, it does not have an ability. That is one small uh, disadvantage. Is that the... I think this is the first death creature to not have an ability. I could be wrong, but I think this is the first one to not have one because I think the other death creature actually has an ability, and so all they, they all do, and then this one doesn't, but it does have a breathe at least. So I guess it gets substi subsidized by the fact that this one gets a breath. You know, like how the Ura is a dragon that you would have thought would have a breathe, breathe, a breath, but it doesn't. Instead, it has an ability that works like a breath. So, yeah. So I guess it's like a trade-off, if if you will. And I think that's okay. I don't think that's a big deal. And so now we come into the part of the video where we go ahead and we give our personal rating for this little bad boy. Because we do it for fun, because it's fun. So let's go ahead and uh, go through the stats again real quick, because some of us may not remember the stats. <laughs> Okay, so the max health again is 400, stamina 200, and speed is 25, healing 100, something most creatures, if not everyone except this one, don't have, and appetite is 45, and bleed 0. So, just looking at those, without the info in the bottom, I'd say, based on those alone, this is a good... I'd say 8 out of 10, and then add it into the night vision, which is 2 out of 3. I'd say it's a good 9 out of 10. And I think it should have been bumped up to a tier th 2 or 3 at least. Considering it does a healing, and it has 2 out of 3 night vision, combined with the 400 health and 200 stamina, um, I think I think it should have been um, a tier 2 or 3. So, what this creature does not have is it doesn't have an actual damage, because this creature cannot harm, it just heals. So, that is one fun aspect of this creature as well, is it's not really something that you harm, rather you heal your friends with this, I would say. So, now let's go ahead and just rate it look-wise as well, since we gave it a 9 out of 10 stat-wise, let's go ahead and rate it look wise so it looks really cool it's got like antlers and stuff um i'd say personally how they look here with the yellow like stripes and that i like i like that and i also like his orbs so personally look wise i'd say it's a good 8 out of 10 so 8 out of 10 and 9 out of 10 that's 8.5 out of 10 total and so that is what I rate this creature an 8 out of 10. So thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. If you did, feel free to hit that like button. Feel free to subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Until then, goodbye.